how to learn Dutch, how to prepare for the AKV examination, and what are the differences between learning Dutch as a language compared to preparation for the AKV examination. If you want to learn any language, then a lot of the tips, advice and generalizations in this video will be applicable. And if you are a non-European or even a European qualified healthcare practitioner aiming to work and immigrate and live in the Netherlands, then this video is of utmost importance for you on how to learn Dutch and how to prepare for the AKV examination and what are the differences between learning Dutch as an entity standing alone and apart from the AKV examination. If you are a healthcare practitioner with the aim of working and immigrating and living in the Netherlands, then I suggest you first watch the video of the BIG registration process that I will link down in the description. As part of that registration process with the BIG register, there is a component that you will have to comply with, which is called the AKV examination. It is also sometimes called the language examination. As I mentioned in the video regarding this BIG registration, the language component that is required is then of course conducted in Dutch the language. A lot of confusion exists between how do you prepare for Dutch and how that compares to the AKV examination. In short, the AKV examination comprises four different components. I will explain that in a little bit more detail later on. First, I want to focus on learning Dutch. The confusion comes in because Dutch as a language if you start from zero, is also divided into three different levels of understanding and your abilities. It starts with a level A0, A1, A2, and from there they classify the language learning capabilities on a level B1, B2, and then there is a level they term B2+, and sometimes they also refer to this as a C1. These levels of learning Dutch as a language is sometimes confused when healthcare workers go through the BIG process or on the website and they see that there are four categories of examination for the AKV. Those are just four different modules with four different subjects, if you want to call it subjects, and that should not be confused to the different levels of learning Dutch as a language. Explained in another way, it could be said that let's first concentrate on learning Dutch as a language and forget about the AKV as it would apply to a healthcare worker or a healthcare practitioner that needs to do a separate examination called the AKV. Focusing on Dutch as a language, as any other language that you want to learn, language is a skill. Depending on the amount of time that you have available or that you are willing to invest in a new skill or a new hobby, you can invest one hour per month or one hour per week or one hour per day in obtaining the skills necessary for that new hobby. And in this case, it'll be language, Dutch. It is also important to make a very obvious comment that as everything in life, time equals money and if you want to do or learn any skill or any language you have the access to the world wide web and google and all the digital products available that you can find for free and then also on youtube you have a myriad of courses and tutors and videos that offer free advice on how to learn dutch or any other language for that matter some of the other free ways of of learning language and skills would then be to look at whatever apps are available and a very well-known language app called Duolingo is also accessible. Another way that you can plan or anticipate or research is if you contact the Dutch embassy in your home country or if they have offices in your local city then you can also approach the Dutch embassy for advice on whatever free resources they have available or they might also have 
um, free language classes offered at such an embassy. Then of course it would also be wise to check in with your local library as they may also have some books or courses or study groups uh, pertaining to learning uh, different languages in your country and maybe you are lucky if they offer Dutch. Of course, if you are willing to pay some money to learn Dutch, there are also um, the same avenues available as you can purchase at a very uh, relatively low cost entry point, uh, different courses and study material on the internet or applications, apps, um, or whatever structured form of course you could find. A very basic and cost-effective way to introduce yourself to the Dutch language is one that I have personally used when I immigrated to the Netherlands for the first time in 2004. And I also went back and used this product again when I immigrated a second time to the Netherlands in 2020. And I will link that down in the description. It is called Hugo Learn Dutch in Three Months. There is also another course uh, in Dutch specifically and a myriad of other languages that you can also buy in the form of uh, CDs, a downloadable app, uh, some printed materials uh, from the BBC in the UK. I will also link that down in the description. If you are willing to fast track your progress of learning Dutch and you are willing and able to pay more money for this investment and learning the skill of learning Dutch, then you can also enlist the services of an academic institution or a school or a tutor that could offer you one-on-one -on -one lessons, be it digital uh, or one-on-one -on -one physically in the area where you live. It would also be handy to note that if you want to learn Dutch, um, as explained with the levels A, B and C, going through A012, B1, B2 and then the C1, you would acquire about or require about 60 hours per level of uh, the language course as you progress from the one stage to the next. That coupled to the AKV, which we will discuss in a few moments, you would probably have to invest up to 180 hours if you want to learn Dutch starting from an entry level A0 up until final preparation being ready for the AKV. Why it is important to make this statement is again back to the concept of time equals money. If you want to spread this 180 odd hours over a period of two years, it might demotivate you, you might not have enough discipline or you might just get bored and lose interest and not pursue and finish this goal if you have set for yourself to learn Dutch in the process of immigration. The other possibility is to compress the time that you need to learn Dutch as a language and really aggressively put in the time and the effort and try as many hours as possible for you to fit into your routine and what you are willing and able to afford to compress the time in which you can learn the skills necessary to hone the um, ability and your mastering of the language skills. These aforementioned um, statements is relevant for learning any type of language but it is also important to make the statement if you are preparing yourself specifically with the end goal of doing the AKV examination which I will explain in a few moments it is also noteworthy if you enroll or enlist the services of a tutor or a school that you communicate this end goal to this organization or individual so that they are familiar with the AKV, what it entails, and that then you are also guided through their teachings that you learn the Dutch language, but also prepare for ultimately the AKV examination. Now that we have discussed the requirements of learning a new skill, and in this case, the language Dutch, and you have mastered Dutch up to a level B2 plus or a C1 level, then we can proceed and make a few comments regarding the AKV testing or examination. The AKV examination uh, is broken up into four different modules that are tested. These modules um, are explained on the website of a language institution which I have referenced in the initial video 
on the BIG registration called Babel or Babel. I will also link that down in the description for you to see what these four modules are that will be tested during the language AKV examination part. As mentioned during the explanation of the language levels that you have to go through and the 180 hours I have referenced, there are very specialized institutions and schools or even specialized tutors that have a very structured guidance curriculum process that you can really very quickly progress from a level A0 up unto the AKV um, examination. It is very possible for a total beginner in the Dutch language to finish and complete the AKV examination starting from zero experience of the Dutch language within 15 to 25 weeks. If you would like to find out more about this approach, please contact me via my website, drop me an email or uh, even a comment, but most preferably it would be to send me a message via my website. The take home message from this video is to distinguish between Dutch as a skill in terms of the language itself, as that is a separate standalone entity compared to the AKV, which is applicable if you are a healthcare worker planning to work, emigrate, register and live in the Netherlands as the AKV component is a sub part of the BIG registration. That examination is conducted in Dutch and it evaluates your Dutch language abilities as it is applicable for an academically tertiary professionally qualified healthcare worker. Please check out the BIG registration video and also download the document which I have compiled um, explaining this BIG registration process in an easy to follow um, A to Z um, process that is also downloadable on my website.